617 News at 10 starts right now. Two escaped inmates and their girlfriends leading police on another wild ride in Allegan County. This group has been on the run for days, getting away each time police get close. At least two cars stolen, homes broken into, not to mention several chases. Tonight, authorities are asking for your help trying to get this group into custody. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Janice Allen. And I'm Christian Frank. We start in Allegan County, where the manhunt for these fugitives... You decide 2012. Turn to Fox 17 to see what the people of our West Michigan have decided. A county by big apartment fire in Holland Township displacing dozens. Of Governor Snyder signed the bills yesterday, making Michigan the 24th state to adopt this kind of legislation. And now the big question is, what's next? Fox 17's Darren Cunningham spoke with an economist today to find out. Pistons were home today. Both were in need of wins for completely different reasons, but only one enjoyed victory. Steve's in next. Continues. <laughs> Sweep, yeah, sweep. sweep those Yankees good, up. David. Good. And I'm Steve Amaros. I'll be here at the Fox 17 studios all night long, bringing you the highlights right after the game, plus the post-game press conferences. Hopefully we'll hear from a victorious Tigers manager, Jim Leland. Time now for tonight's 5 at 5. As always, these are some of the top trenders on the web coming in at number 5. Tonight, Fox 17 has assembled a roundtable of school officials and experts to talk about the impact this is having in our West Michigan. We will talk with them over the next two hours. First, let's go to Newtown, Connecticut, where Fox 17's Larry Menti putting his focus on New Jersey's governor tonight. And he's especially keyed in on an exchange between Chris Christie and Barbara Walters. Here's why he's weighing. Union. He's in the studio now with more. Darren. Yeah, guys, Tim Oudbeer is in the U.S. Navy. The first class petty officer has been in Bahrain since April. His children don't expect him home until spring 2013, but they were in for a pleasant surprise. 